Watching out for you on air, online, on the go. This is 24 Hour News 8. First off the top tonight, Mayor George Hartwell delivering his State of the City address to a packed house of more than 500 at DeVos Place this morning. As 24-Hour News 8's Mark Thompson shows us, after recent criticism from a national magazine calling Grand Rapids a dying city, the speech titled Destination Grand Rapids pretty much wrote itself. Our city is alive. Ours is a destination city. From Art Prize to the Medical Mile, Mayor George Hartwell listed dozens of things he says makes Grand Rapids a destination city, including new business development. And then he delivered the shot of the day to Newsweek magazine for its recent article listing Grand Rapids as a dying city. Just last July, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce awarded Grand Rapids its Siemens Award for the most sustainable mid-sized city in America. Now. Put that in your pipe, Newsweek, and smoke it. Hartwell spoke about the quality of education offered by the 22 institutions of higher learning in the city and praised the progress of last year's Student Champion of Diversity Award winners. We had intensely honest conversations about the role diversity played in our lives. On infrastructure and transportation, Hartwell pushed for a rapid millage renewal. He touched on the environment, natural resources, and technology, boasting a 15% decline in energy consumption since 2003. Wi-Fi capability and more online access to city documents and the newly launched 311 mobile app to report a need for city services. Including trash or, or recycle removal, a water or wastewater services, housing or property nuisance reports. He spoke on the continued consolidation of municipal services, citing an annual million and a half dollar savings for the newly combined Grand Rapids and Wyoming dispatch service. And now, Governor Snyder is looking to the Grand Rapids metropolitan area as a model for consolidation. But Hartwell says one of the biggest challenges moving forward is controlling the cost of employee benefits, which currently make up 35% of the total compensation package. And if we cannot control it, it will break the back of local government. In Grand Rapids, Mark Thompson, 24-Hour News.